Thank you for buying a genuine Norisil product. In this video, we'll talk about troubleshooting your Series 1001 liquid level controller. You can experience two main issues with your 1001 level controller. First, the displacer could become detached from the arm, or second, you may not be getting the desired signal. To determine if the displacer is missing, first move the Z-bar back and forth. You should feel weight resistance on the displacer arm, and the spring should be balanced. If neither of these is happening, then the displacer is missing, and you'll need to safely bleed down the vessel, remove the controller, and replace the displacer. If you determine that the displacer is present, then you need to check to see if the controller is set properly. First, you'll need to determine whether your controller is direct acting or reverse acting. For a direct acting controller, first you need to make sure that you have sufficient instrument air pressure. Then check your controller to see if you have no output signal with no fluid on the displacer. If there is an output, then decrease the spring tension until the output signal is lost. If there is not an output, then you know you're okay. If you have fluid over the displacer and you don't have an output signal, then increase your spring tension until an output signal is achieved. For a reverse acting controller, you need to make sure you have sufficient instrument air pressure. Then check your controller to see if you have an output signal with no fluid on the displacer. If there is no output, then decrease the spring tension until the output signal is achieved. If there is an output, then you know you're okay. If you have fluid over the displacer and you have an output signal, then increase your spring tension until you lose the output signal. Once you determine that your signal output is correct, you need to check the functionality of the controller to see if it's repeating at the same fluid level. If it's not, this indicates either a paraffin buildup on the displacer or that the displacer is dragging on something inside the vessel. This will require safely isolating the vessel and removing the controller. Inspect the displacer in the vessel to determine if either of these issues exist. If a paraffin buildup exists, simply remove the excess buildup. To correct an issue of the displacer dragging on the inside of the vessel, you may need to install a longer arm. Contact the Norseal expert for assistance at rfq at norseal.com. If the pilot is continuously bleeding a supply signal, the pilot will need to be removed and inspected for any foreign materials in the seating surfaces. Make sure you safely remove all air before removing the pilot from the controller. If necessary, replace the pilot. Occasionally, the vessel loses all fluid or overflows, particularly with temperature changes. We've already checked to make sure the displacer arm is free and the displacer is not hitting inside the vessel. This could indicate that your displacer may not be big enough to handle the interface differential. In this case, you should contact a Norseal expert to determine the exact sizing of the displacer that should be used. More information on troubleshooting your Norseal Series 1001 liquid level controller is available in our new operations and maintenance manual at www.norseal.com.